and infamous families from Ryan's Hope, All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital. Introducing for today's feud from General Hospital, the Quartermain, played by Stuart Damon, Leslie Charlson, Sherilyn Walter, Steve Bond, and David Lewis, ready for action. Competing against from Ryan's Hope, the Ryan, played by Bernie Barrow, Mark Helgenberger, Michael Levin, Nancy Addison Altman, and Jeffrey Pearson. On your mark, let's start the Daytime Dynasty Family Feud Special. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dalton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remains right to there, General Hospital. My buddies have been here lots and lots of times. They're playing for two different charities. Their hearts are sort of split in a little way. They played so far the first game, they won $73 for juvenile diabetes. They're now going to play this time for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. We're going to find out who will be in the finals from the right hand of Waterman. Yay, yay, where the monkey? We've got to get on the board, We're going to do our... We've got to do it. We certainly are going to try our now, best. Now, if you should get into the finals where we play for $10,000 and you won it, you would split the split 10000 the between, the two between charities. both charities. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's meet everyone, please. Start. Okay. On my left, I'd like to introduce first Leslie Charleston, who plays my wife, Monica, and she'd like me to say something nice about her. Okay. <laughs> Next, we but have... Hold uh, it now. Don't... There's a lot of nice things you can say about Leslie. I know there are. Next, on the oh, left... I love her very much. I just kid her all the time. And, and that's you call why. her Lester. Lester, yeah. How are you doing, Lester? I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> he is a dead person, by the way. <laughs> There's no possibility of surviving this one. Carry on. Play. Okay. Next is Cheryl and Walter, who plays my cute little cousin, Celia. He's married to Grant. Hi, my doll, and welcome. Thank you. Next, we have my slightly illegitimate brother. Uh, You can, uh, as you can tell from the reaction, it's only the girls that really I like gather, him. though, yeah. he's a live person from that noise yes, that we did. Welcome, And Jesse. next, our favorite guy, Daddy Warbucks of them all, the head of the Quartermain household, Edward, my friend David Lewis. David, good to have you here. All right. Cystic fibrosis. Let's Cystic win the fibrosis money. today. All right. Win the money. How are you, Lester? Blinded by your studs. Oh, thank you. Oh, and that's a beautiful tuxedo, too. Oh, thank you. And are you doing anything for dinner? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, well, You said right. you wanted to go home. I think I'd like to go home, too, to your home. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right after, horse rider, uh, right after I do away with this gentleman. Oh, that, well, I'll, I'll take care of writing this Fine, down. Fine, thank you so much. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Little Dolan was on with her uh, real-life family. Won all kinds of money. You were on that, too, sir, if I recall. No, no, I wasn't yeah. with her real-life family. <laughs> well, I know you're not. <laughs> This boy's been in trouble ever since I'm here. Yeah. I'm delighted you're here. Thank you. Didn't I ask you not to rig the house and have a lot of screaming girls when your name is... What? I want you to know that costs a lot of money. I know it does. <laughs> Thank you. Cost me a fortune. Good to have you Richard, here, champ. Thank you, thank you're you. You're in good company good here. Good sire. Here. We've got to win some money, David, right? Under All pressure. right. The Ryans of Ryan's Hope. Bernie, you've already won a whole lot of money here. Let's meet everyone in your uh, dynasty. What do you got? My daughter, Mark Helgenberger, who plays Javon. Hello, my daughter. That is to say, my daughter on the show. Gotcha, your daughter on the show. Mike Eleven, who plays Jack Finelli. My son-in-law. Well done, Michael. 
Nancy Addison, my new daughter-in-law, who plays Jill. Good yeah. things happen. Yeah. And Jeff Pearson, who plays my son, Frank. The man who predicted you'd win and you did. You know, I wish you luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for too. being here. A little lovely to mm. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And yourself? Very good, very good. Good. Uh, all right. How you doing, Mike? No, not bad, not Good bad. Good here. Thank you for being here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, it's a... Oh, magic time, eh? You like that, huh? So do I. Gorgeous. That's <laughs> Thank gorgeous. you. Yeah. This young man on his first visit, with he said, we're going to win the money. You did it. I'm proud oh, of you. Yeah, <laughs> you did it. Yeah. We're going to win again. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck now. Nice Good flat luck. hand for me, both of you. Very nice. 100 people survey. Top five answers on the board. You got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something a surgeon asks his nurse for during an operation. Yeah. Scalpel. Scalpel. Let's go, guys. Hang in there. Yeah, very good. If you hadn't gotten that, I would have thrown you off. <laughs> Something a surgeon asks his nurse for during an operation. My first reaction was a date, but I, that's not uh, it. All right. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. Because I said that was my, but then I thought. And so I. You're a doctor too, on this, aren't you? Uh, on yeah. Yes, I am. It was a serious posterior myocardial infarction. The problem was we couldn't put him on Coumadin. He's on sedation now. I just checked it on him. He's holding his own. Oh, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> try the word answer. infarction. What's your answer? Um, uh, what did you say? Scalpel. Oh, uh, Sutures. Oh. Okay. From the film. <laughs> from the film, Suit Yourself. <laughs> Sutures! <laughs> no. Oh, well, don't get that upset about it, Shirley. Oh, my. What does the surgeon ask the nurse for during an operation? Uh, swabs. Okay. As in sailors? Yeah. Send me two young sailors, please. Swabs. A swab would be something that he would wipe himself when he was to get Pardon? the. A swab would be something he would wipe himself with. Would that be I swear so? I don't know what they swab. Is. I don't know what a swab is either. But well, I think that he'd need some X-rays, wouldn't he? I mean, to take a look at what he was doing. Uh, I would have hoped he'd X-ray her before the operation. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but he has no, to look. They, you know, they do the old thing. Got a swab or take a few shots there. Get him <laughs> over to Thrifty. Develop it. <laughs> I'll be in the green room with you. <laughs> X-rays? <laughs> no. Oh. You're obviously not the doctor. I don't get angry. <laughs> What's the surgeon ask the nurse for? Turn it on, on TV. Sponge. Thank you. Sponge. Look at that. Yeah. Gotta, I'm not even going to mention it. It's got to be one. Sponge. You got it. Clamp. 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 I never thought of Jimmy Cagney. Jimmy Cagney is a surgeon. No x-rays. Clamp. Clamp. Not oysters. Clamp. Clamp. Yeah. Come on. What's the surgeon has the nurse for during an operation? Um, oh, don't do that. Uh, I think he might, would ask for a, uh, a reading, I mean, what the uh, <laughs> blood pressure or anything like that. Would he not ask a nurse for That's a... fine. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. I like Vital statistics? Vital statistics? Give me a reading. <laughs> and the nurse. Vital. The nurse says to we be or together. not to be. <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. I'm sure you're groaning. We're on the operating table. Right? A reading? No. Oh. Ninety-four dollars. What was the last one? Come along. A reading, like the uh, pressure of the blood, the weather vane. Uh, mop the brow. Mop down. Oh, mop, 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 mop the brow. Mop the brow. Good answer. Or Jimmy Cagney, the surgeon, a mop up. A mop up. If it's there, you get it. If not, you do mop up or down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
By the way, Dean, when I do go in for surgery, see that Leslie has nothing to do. We, to do. <laughs> we will return. Great. <laughs> 24, the Ryan's nothing. Let's go. Come on, Mark. <laughs> 100 people survey. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something people practice doing in a sexy way. Let's go. Making love. Making love. <laughs> no. Well, you know, I never get tired of rehearsing. It's what would you say? Practice doing in a sexy way. Very same I'll... question I have here. <laughs> Talking in a sexy way. All right. Way. Talking. Play. Yeah. Play. 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 Dancing. Uh-huh. Ah, Dance. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Richard, I'm going to say, um, walk. Sure. Walking. You bet. You bet. Number one. Yeah. Kissing. Kissing, all right. Kissing. Yeah. Got it. What could it be? Dressing. Dressing. Got it if it's there. Dressing. Right. Oh, first strike, no problem. Singing. Singing. Uh -huh. I love a parade. Oh, I know it wasn't sexy, but I did my best. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's easy. Looking. Pardon? Yes. Looking. Yes. Looking in a Looking. sexy look. Yes. Give me a sexy look. Give you a sexy look, Richard. That's it. I find you very sexy. If it's there, you got it. If not, third strike. Looking. No. Eighty-three dollars. One answer unrevealed. Smiling. Come on. All these yo-yos over here are. Smiling. Oh God. Eating. Smiling. Okay. Smiling. I don't know. I'm saying smiling. I'm afraid. The camaraderie, though, is so beautiful, huh? <laughs> All these yo-yos here keep giving me different answers. Don't call you your co-workers. I'm very yo -yo. fond of them, even That's though they are yo-yos. All right. <laughs> Smiling against the 83, if oh. not a very close game. Oh, Smile! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you love... What a name, 177. The frowning Ryan's nothing yet, Mikhail. <laughs> 100 people survey, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a food that gets your fingers really messy. <laughs> yep. Ribs. Yeah. Ribs. <laughs> One answer will beat it, Michael. Chicken. Chicken? You got it. Play a pair. We play, we play, we play, we play. Well done. Excellent. Since you looked at me that way, <laughs> you've done very well. <laughs> Food that gets trying. your fingers really messy. Oh, Richard, oh. oh. Corn on the cob. Right. Corn! Yeah! Yeah. Chocolate candy. Beautiful. Okay. Good. Cece, chocolate candy. No. For me. Uh, Working ooh, under an assumed name. Because I don't want to be recognized. What do you say, Bernie? Uh, I need an answer. Talava. <laughs> what? What's the... Was the Anthony Quinn family in the survey? You know, that's like a candy, honey. Yeah. We're going to let you off very lightly. Oh, here. good. That would be like a candy. Oh, like a candy. Right. Apart from being a rotten answer, like a candy. <laughs> Try and give me another food to get your fingers really messy. Um, ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. Ice cream. Uh -huh. 
Two strikes. Mark. French fries? That's three dollars. It was there all right. If not, third strike. French fries! <laughs> not there. Three answers unrevealed. Pizza. The good-looking kid down at the end said we should say pizza. I'm going to stick with him because he's... Well, that's not, quite amazing. He's, he's not a well person. One anymore. moment they're yo-yos and now suddenly... The good-looking kid down at the end. Right next to the very pizza. handsome elderly yeah. person. Yeah. Very nice. Pizza nice. gets your big, nice big lead. If not, pizza. Bernie and I can't get in the game. Pizza? You got it. Forty-four to nothing. Let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled. One hundred people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question: Name a holiday with special candy. Yes. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Two answers will beat it, sir. You mean holiday with a special candy, uh, Halloween. Halloween. You got to grow up when you do. Play or pass. Play. Yeah, play. Play. All right. I gotta we'll go in a <laughs> Since you gave me that sexy look, she just doesn't care anymore. Yeah. Holiday with special candy. I gotta say Easter. Say it. Oh. Easter. Good. That wasn't hard. Easter. You got it. Let's get in it right now, baby. Christmas. Okay, the holiday. No Christmas. longer holiday. Christmas. Two forty-four. Two hundred. This game is decided. Let's go. Mark, you both a little tardy, but good luck to you. Dollar values are tripled. This should decide the game. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something in the road that causes flat tires. <laughs> yeah. Pothole. Pothole. Oh. Two oh. answers oh. will be the day. Nails. Yeah. Nails. Hey, listen now, I'm going to read it once. I can't repeat it. I get to you. You get three seconds to answer. And you can do this now. We'll go for the big money, so good luck. Name something in the road that causes flat tires. Three seconds to it. Glass. Glass. <laughs> three seconds left. Uh, obstruction. Um, wood, a tree or something? I don't know. Wood. <laughs> three seconds. Metal. Metal. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Three seconds, please. Three seconds. Um, uh, uh, curb. Curb. The dreaded floating curb is there, all right. If the you run into a curb, you get a curb. <laughs> no. Something in the road that caught. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 we're up. We're up. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. For doing that. Something in the road that causes flat tires. We say a sharp stone. Ah, okay. Sharp stone, you'll play for the big oh. money. If not, you will. A sharp stone. Tell me how many years you've worked at your present job. Ten. Something people take to the gym. Shorts. Another name for a record player. A phonograph. A beverage in a pull-top can. Coke. Something worn on the hands. Gloves. Very well. How many years you've worked at your present job? Ten years, said Michael. Survey said? Seventeen. How many people take to the gym? said shorts. Good advice. Otherwise, you're not allowed to stay at the gym a long time. Survey! 
Another name for a record player? You said Fred? No, no, you said Phonograph. Certainly, sir. Oh, there we go. Very beautiful top can. You said Coke? Certainly, sir. Oh, oh, my man. A little worn on the hands. Glove? Certainly. Go back to the We're looking for Jeff, and here we come. You mind your Terry Grant impressions. You need 11 points. You got the money. Please remind everyone, the great answers Michael gave us. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. Tell me how many years you've worked at your present job. 10. Try again. 15. Something people take to the gym. Uh, shorts. Awful. Gym shoes. Okay, another name for a record player. Phonograph. Try again. Cereal. A beverage in a pull-top can. Uh, beer. Something worn on the hands. Glove. Try again. Uh, ring. A ring. Turn around. Yeah. How many years you've worked at your present job? Number one answer was five, five, five years. Five. Yeah, you thought that, right? You went 15. 11 points we need. Survey said. Nine. Something people take to the gym. Shorts, all clothes. Number one, you said shoes. Two points for five thousand dollars. Be in the final. Survey said. The stakes are. We'll be here. I'll tell you. You cannons of one life to live. We'll be playing the Ryan's. Ryan's hope. Love ya. See you here on This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson television production.